night when your astrophotography imaging time is limited, a great option is to set up a portable mobile rig that you can get up and running in a matter of minutes. Sure, it would be great to get some deep sky images through my primary imaging telescope and my full rig, but uh, that's not always a practical choice. For example, tonight is a weeknight and the clear sky chart is looking less than ideal. The transparency meter is looking a little pale. So rather than set myself up for disappointment with the telescope, I've opted to take some wide field shots using a DSLR camera and lens. This will be tracking the sky on a small sky tracker. I mean, I've still got to shoot long exposures and stack them. Come on, I'm not a caveman. I just won't haul out the big old mount, the telescope, or the imaging laptop. The Ioptron Sky Tracker Pro is a portable astrophotography mount that is perfect for taking nightscape shots with a DSLR camera and lens. If you're just getting into the hobby and interested in long exposure shots of the Milky Way, the Sky Tracker is an excellent choice. If you want to go a step further and start using a small telescope, I recommend the beefier Ioptron Sky Guider Pro. Wide angle nightscapes are a Wide angle nightscapes are a lot of fun and just as satisfying as a deep sky image. The plan tonight is to capture the Orion constellation using Canon's cheapest lens, the 50mm f1.8. This lens costs about $150 brand new, it's virtually weightless, and it's a great focal length for wide field imaging when used with a crop sensor DSLR just like my Canon T3i. Just to make tonight's session foolproof, I'm going to shoot in hydrogen alpha using my astronomic 12 nanometer clip filter to ignore the light pollution I live with here in my backyard. The shots will be 3 minutes each at ISO 800. It's about minus 10 out here tonight, so uh, keeping that sensor cool will not be an issue tonight. A sound polar alignment on the little Ioptron Sky Tracker will result in pinpoint sharp stars in my 3 minute subs. At this focal length, auto guiding is not necessary and the field of view is quite forgiving. I'll run the camera with a simple shutter release cable I got on Amazon and I'll let this rig run until uh, it's time to tear down and go to bed. For me, finding ways to sustain this hobby long term is important. At the end of the night, I should have enough data to create a sweet portrait of the Orion constellation in H-alpha. And I did it all without spending my entire night in the frigid backyard. <laughs>